If you've used other samplers before, the amp and envelope section should feel pretty familiar. There is a volume knob that lets you control the volume of the sample. The volume velocity knob scales the velocity value of incoming MIDI notes. At zero, samples will play at full volume, no matter what. Turned up to 100, samples will play back dynamically based on the velocity value of MIDI notes. You can use the attack knob to create volume fade effects. The amplitude value of the sample starts at zero and then gradually increases over time based on the value of the attack knob. For example, at 2000 milliseconds, it will take two seconds for the sample to fully fade in. The release knob comes into play when you remove your finger from a key on your MIDI keyboard. At a value of 2 milliseconds, the sample will stop playing almost immediately. While at a value of 3000 milliseconds, it will take 3 seconds for the sound to fade out. There's also a pan knob that allows you to adjust the position of the sample within the stereo field, moving it between your left and right speaker. The amp and envelope processing is optional. You can toggle this entire section on and off by clicking the power icon. The same concept applies to the other sections that we'll be taking a look at. 